I got an exciting news on WhatsApp's latest update. That is, WhatsApp is now enrolling an update that will enable you to use WhatsApp on various different devices such as tablets, laptops, and PC without connecting your phone to the internet. In other words, once you have linked your devices to WhatsApp, you could turn off your phone or remove the SIM card and still use WhatsApp on the other devices. In addition, WhatsApp is now allowing four additional devices and one phone to run simultaneously, which wasn't possible before. I think this is an update that we all were waiting for. So now I will show you how to use this update in order to connect your phone to your computer and use WhatsApp without your phone. You could follow the same steps for any other devices such as tablets or additional phones. However, for more details on how to connect other devices, you should watch my other videos in the description. So let's get started. Open your WhatsApp and then go to the chats tab. Then select the three dots so that you could get more options. One of the differences is in its name. Now WhatsApp doesn't call the link devices option as WhatsApp web. Instead, it is called linked devices, which makes sense because we are not just linking the WhatsApp web, but we are linking more devices. Therefore, simply select linked devices. Then you should get an option called multi-device beta. If you don't see this option, don't panic because as the name says, it is in beta phase. That means it's not ready for everyone. But if you're one of the lucky ones, then simply select it. Here it will give you a description of what this multi-device beta is. The most important thing is if you try to message someone after joining the beta and they don't receive messages or calls, it might be because they don't have the latest WhatsApp installed on their phone. Therefore, if your message is not sent to someone, try another person and see whether it works. If you have read this message and you're happy, then simply select join beta. Then you will get this message saying, if you have already linked your other devices, it would sign out and then you would have to link them again by scanning the QR code. So simply select continue. And now we have joined this beta update. As you can see, you still got the option to leave the beta, but I want to take advantage of this beta update and link my devices. So select back and you can read here which says multi-device beta joined. Next step is to link a device. Select link a device. Then it might ask you to enter a password or use your fingerprints. First, make sure you have got WhatsApp installed on your computer or on your tablet by following the steps in my previous videos, which you can find the links in the description. Once you have installed the app, then simply open the WhatsApp app for desktop. Then you should get this QR code. Make sure the keep me signed in is checked. Now get your phone up and scan this QR code. Here it is, we have successfully linked our WhatsApp app on our computer. But the most important thing of this exercise is to make sure we could run WhatsApp on our computer or tablet without actually having the phone connected to the internet. So let's go back to the phone and turn off both your mobile data as well as your Wi-Fi to make sure WhatsApp doesn't have any access to the internet. This is just so that we could test whether this new update works. Moment of truth. So now I will simply type hi and see whether the message would go. 
Wow, here it is. The update works. Now you can use WhatsApp on four different devices without having your main phone connected to the internet. Now if I go to my main phone and open the same contact, you can see the message is not updated on my main phone. But if you go and turn on the internet such as Wi-Fi on your main phone, you should receive any updated messages on your main phone as well. As I've said earlier, this feature is in its beta state and won't be available to everyone at the moment. But no doubt, sooner or later, everyone would be able to use this method. I think it would be very helpful to others if you could mention your country and whether it's available for you or not in the comments below. To learn more about WhatsApp, you could watch my other videos in here. In order to support my channel and learn about the latest WhatsApp updates, please don't forget to subscribe. And finally, if you have got any questions, please let me know in the comments below.